of the ideas that I had is like like modern art and everything. I was like always wondering, well, where do you take it to the next level? And uh, you know, just like if you see a modern art painting, you can do another modern art painting. And it, it seems like you know, take it to the next level. Well, what if I made everything out of like pencils and plastic oh, exactly. back with light and with like glow? Wouldn't that be awesome? And so I start making these and I start getting more and more crazy with them and everything. And as you can see, it's like but he was here, but uh, yeah, just, uh, everybody's really enjoyed everything that I've come up with, and I'm hoping to maybe give this a career at one point. Maybe it'd be cool to have it like in a, uh, in like a, maybe like a, like a hotel or something like that. I can imagine one of these things, especially like Las Vegas or something like that. You can see something like that. Yeah, man. Uh, Bellagio, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. That is wonderful. Um, we're going to just talk a little bit more about your artworks and kind of your futures. I think that's a great idea. Maybe Houston needs some of your artwork too, downtown, maybe museum district, and places like that. So I can see them going to all kinds of wonderful places. Um, what's your favorite one, or which ones would you say you had the most you know, emotional attachment? Which one would you want to highlight first? Well, the one that, that, that gave me the most emotional attachment just recently was when I put the man with the heart out. It sold, but then it, it started to catch fire. <laughs> so I had to unplug it. But, but it was no stupid of me because I, I didn't put, you know, not like a pen on the back. If you put a pen on the back, there's no problem with it, you know, because, you know. But with this one, was, this guy was like in heartburn over here because he was starting to catch fire. But it'll okay. plug it. Tell them that was the punchline. That was the punchline. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended, right? No, Perfect. No, no pun intended, right? Great. Okay. Wow. And so, who is the buyer? I don't know. Um, Mom, did he leave his name? <laughs> Mom, did he leave his name? Oh, wow. And his check. A mystery box. He left his check, too. And his name. Yes, I've got it. Wow. 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 So, um, it's... It's, well, congratulations for, for this sale. This is a wonderful art piece, and I'm sure he would really enjoy it. Um, so, is everything else up for sale, or only certain items? Uh, well, well, yeah. Well, not my side. I mean, yeah. I mean, every, everything is for sale. I want that sign. For the right price. <laughs> Not for sale. Okay. For the right price. Well, let's see. For the right price. So tell us a little more about how you came up with the ideas of uh, making these beautiful, colorful, light, plastic, you know, beautiful art pieces. How did you come up with these in the first place? Well, um, I liked light bright when I was a kid. This is an ultimate light bright because it's really good. Signs and you see, like on the street, and I thought, oh, would you be cool to have something like this? You know? And you know, outside of Spencer's Gifts, which you know, is all like a really cheap little knock off to something like that, you don't see anything that's really vibrant. I was like, really, what if someone really, really you know, took all the, all, went for broke and just went and they did it, which sort of does break the bank a bit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Very interesting. It is a great point of, um, you know, glass work light, color, um, I, I really love it. Um, I really like this one, by the way, so tell us a little more about this one with the brain work, and then I really like the uh, the robot ones too, so I can't tell, I can't say which one's my favorite, because I like both. Okay, well the one, the one with the robot with the ear work and everything like that, that's, that's kind of interesting, because uh, what I, I done before, you see the one with the paper? Okay. Well, and I was, and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have one that actually like lit up and the eyes lit up and the gears turned? And so uh, then I realized that it was easy to do the, the the eyes for the lights, right? But then when I actually had to do the gears themselves, uh, I ran into some problems, and um, and so you know I had to get online. I had to find this toy company that had these turning gears and everything else like that. And then I, I had some big gears that I wanted to move, but the, the motors that were too small for the toy gears and then I, I got a two remote control cars that I put in there so it's like it's a, there's actually four motors running yeah um, did you have any um, electrical engineering or circuit background how did you get that to work um, 
just just adjusting and readjusting and just... did you ever shock yourself just out of curiosity no i almost saw a fire over here yeah we saw that <laughs> which worked perfectly yeah. <laughs> yeah um so yeah i mean if i had electrical degree i wouldn't have been shoving so many lights inside that heart thing there i was uh, that was really <laughs> close. I was, uh, <laughs> It looks great, though. So that's all that matters for, from an artist's perspective is, is the look, you know, the artistic, the aesthetics. Who cares about the electrics in the circuit, right? Um, well, that's great. Uh, does anybody have any questions for Eric or any specific RPs that you really liked and really want to discuss with him? I would like to know how much that piece of right there. Oh, gosh, I forget. Um, what was the text? <laughs> Oh, this one's really pretty. Yeah, there's not a tag on this one. Maybe it's too valuable to. <laughs> It may have fallen off in transit. We'll discuss with you offline. Yeah. What else? What do you guys think? Very nice work. Very bright. Life stuff I can't think. I love them all. I'm sorry? I love them all. Um, what about this biggest piece? I think this would be a really expensive one, and I think it would really go well with some modern style homes. You know, those are kind of really in right now, and I, it's all into the modern, simple, and colorful things. So, this one's really pretty. Tell us about that. Okay, uh, well, that one, uh, wow, that, that, was, uh, that was a tripping hazard. Uh, it was, uh, we had like a bunch of tables, and uh, it was really to the frame and stretching this stuff over it and it was like in the bedroom and there was this little narrow walkway where I would like have to like keep repositioning the table to actually get around at the different places to like work on it and everything like that. It was it was it was insane. And, uh, and then um, I didn't know if the easel was even gonna be able to be big enough to like open up enough to actually uh, you know handle it and just be able to hold it but, but it seems like it was able to provided I opened it all all the way. And, uh, and so, yeah, so, I mean, you know, I got like a thousand dollar price tag on it, because I, I think it is worth that, but it's... Oh, it should be more than that. I would yeah. like to take it. I don't know if I have that much money, but it would go really well with any type of, you know, modern home, so... Oh, oh yeah, and there's, uh, there's like a hundred dollars worth of LED lights in, in, the, in it, too. That's fine. See, you get your money worth and the beauty out of it, so that's great. Um, Question, which, which took the longest? In terms which of took the longest? That's a great question. I think the, the gearhead man probably is it recalibrating and trying to figure it was very frustrating to, to, to get it to work. Which one is that? This one right here. Okay, with the brain and the purple. Um, yeah, that looked like it took a lot of engineering. And That's where that semester of electrical engineering came in. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you do that? Did you do a semester? No. <laughs> oh wow, okay, well it still turned out great. <laughs> nice job. Which is the most recent? Which one is the most recent artwork? Um, oh, it's on the other side. Uh, it's like squirrels. Three squirrels. It's, uh, it's over on the side. Right? See it. Should we walk over there? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so there's squirrels on this side. Oh, is that that one? Yeah. Tell us about how you made this one. Um, well, uh, epoxy and fiberglass. Uh, those are little gemstones. There's like, like uh, I think there's like three bags of gemstones on there, little acrylic ones. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, so that, that that was kind of, um, yeah, that kind of ran up there a bit. And then, oh, and then these little glass pieces yeah. that, uh, that I put on there, I uh, layered those on with uh, both uh, plastic tape, and then I went over it with, like, fiberglass. Okay. All right, we're going to head back here. We just saw that one. I have a question. 
what, what's like your, maybe it's patented, I don't know, but what are some of the ingredients that goes into your artwork? Do you expect to put, put in more things? Do you expect certain ones to be your key ingredient? Plastic, glass? Um, wow, okay, wow. I just, you, you mean like where to take it from here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Wow. Uh, well, I'm going to try to work with some other kind of uh, uh, translucent materials. Like, like for instance, I, what I'm wanting to work with is like a brown paper bag, which I find that you can actually, like, you can actually, light will pass through it and it will give it kind of a texture and kind of a golden color. We would love to see that next time. Yeah, oh, oh, also in black trash bag. A lot of people don't know this, but it, actually, you can actually get a nice gray, and, and it's, very, it's very interesting. So, like, I'm going to try to do some of these and mix those in with some of the bright colors and, and see how, how that works. So, so, it seems like all your inspirations came from the everyday things we touch, we use, but I would never think of that. I would just use it and move on, but... It's really interesting that you have so much attention to detail and all these kind of normal day-to-day -day things would really turn into art, which um, is all based on kind of your creativity and inspiration, so. Well, uh, there are certain things that a lot of people wouldn't use. Like a lot of people wouldn't think to use like plastic tape, for instance, or, or a lot of these, these translucent things like uh, who would think to use cups and stuff like that, you know? And a lot of people don't. But, uh, but yeah, I, I used it and it works, and so it's... Um, okay. And so where will these artworks be after this event and if people are interested? I mean, we have pictures, so that would be a great place to start to kind of just take a picture and pass it around, let more people know about this type of unique artwork. But um, where would these be residing and how would people inquire about these in the future? Well, at my house, uh, I'll have them, and, uh, which uh, is going to be taking up a lot of space. But, uh, but, but no, you know, if they take pictures, what they could do is they could just turn the tag and then take a picture of, of like, the, the, the price tag, too, you know, in case somebody wants to purchase it or something like that. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Yeah, and we would really wish you could um, bring more of these into kind of more production and put them into different applicable places, whether that's museum, buildings, office, I think those would all really work great. What do you think about where you want to take your artwork? Uh, yeah, places like that. I, I was mainly yeah. thinking like hotels, like the or something like that. That would be great. Yeah, like in a lobby. Like, oh wow, that would be awesome. So, yeah, big, big, big place. Well, um, if you guys are okay with um, us wrapping up, do, we, do you have any more questions? All right. Okay. So we really wish you luck, Eric, and we really appreciate all the beautiful work you show us. It really just showed a lot about your appreciation of life and your emotion and love and everything. So it's really fascinating. If you guys have more questions, go ahead and come on over and continue to talk to us and have some more delicious food. And come back to Susie Wong because they really have delicious, authentic Chinese food. And congratulations, Eric, for everything. Nice job. Nice job. And thank you all for coming. Also, uh, yeah, she makes a really uh, mean, what was that, that, that one soup that she has? It's, uh, it's the hot spicy soup. Is it the beef, uh, the, the fish? It's the kind with the, with the shrimp in it. The yum something soup. Tom yum soup? Yeah, I think they have tom yum soup. That's really delicious. You guys should just come out and try their menu. Uh, it's really authentic. I'm already salivating now. Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.